hey to the girl world and Tokyo. Felice Marie here. Welcome back to my channel and a big welcome to anyone that is new to this channel. Please subscribe and like for more videos. This video today is going to be the start of my recap of season one, episode three, The Enemy Within. This episode is the carry on from Children of the Gods. And as we all know from Children of the Gods that Kowalski has a gold lava within him. He doesn't quite know himself and neither do SG1. And this is the episode that is basically where Kowalski dies, which is quite sad in some, well, in, it is quite sad altogether because he's one of Jack's closest friends and they've known each other years. And we've all seen this episode hundreds and hundreds of times. So, you know, it is, it is quite sad. And I do like the complex emotions that are shown in this episode. So let's start with the first three scenes of this episode and I'll see you soon. I understand how Kowalski feels. This job gives me a headache, too. It's bad news, General. Not much for small talk, are you, Colonel? How was your weekend getting fishing in? I'm rejecting your request to have Teal join SG1. Wasn't my choice. Now, Colonel Kennedy is in route from the Pentagon right now, and he'll be asking your friends some questions. What kind of questions? What went up against? Your strength, technology, weaponry? I'd like to know the answers to those questions, too, sir. But after they're done asking, I'll be more questions. After all, he's carrying the larval form of a hostile and very formidable enemy to our knowledge of the Goa'ulds. I offer my skills as a warrior and defeat the governor. I pledge my honor and my life to this world. Well, thank you. This is just an informal meeting, son. Take a seat. I have a lot of questions to ask, so if there are no objections. What can you tell us about the power source the ghouls use to power their weapons, ships? Nothing. I see. Do you yourself have an understanding of the physics behind the Stargate? No. I see. Knowledge of ghoul magic is forbidden. It's not magic, Teal. They just want you to think that. Permission to barge in, sir? Colonel O'Neill. I was hoping to meet you. Your mission report from Chulak made for the most engrossing analysis of my career. Thanks. What was your favorite part? Perhaps now is not the time. That's Teal'c with an apostrophe. T-E-A-L apostrophe C. Colonel, yes, sir. Very well. Tilk. What can you tell me about the ghouls? They rule by force. Their numbers were very few, but they are growing. How many worlds do they control? Perhaps more. And should we expect to encounter these ghouls everywhere we go? It is possible. But there are many more worlds that the ghouls have no use for. On those worlds, the people are abandoned and left to fend for themselves. Is there a leadership or government with which we could negotiate a peace? Some, like Apophis, are great kings and rule over many worlds as their gods. But they have no need for peace. If they could kill you, they would. Could they? They have spacecraft, right? Yes. Without the Stargate, such a journey would take many months, perhaps even years. It would take many vessels, many slave armies. We are not that much of a nuisance just yet. These slaves, where do they come from? There is a tale of a primitive world the Gaul was discovered millennia ago. The Tari. First world where forms of this type evolved. It is said the Goa would harvested among the primitives. Some became Goa'uld hosts. Others became Jabba. The rest were taken as slaves and seated among the stars to serve them. But that world has been lost for centuries. Tilk, beings of this form evolved here on Earth. This world is the world you're talking about. If our ancestors had rebelled and buried the Stargate, you would have not become strong enough to challenge them. And the galaxy is populated by the ancient peoples of Earth. There could be millions by now. And you are their greatest hope. Hello everyone. So that was the first three scenes of The Enemy Within, the season one, episode three. Um, these first three scenes I chose as important as 
to begin with, there's that bit of humour between Jack and Kowalski as it opens up, which I always like, that's what I always like about Stargate, is just that humour that's straight away in there. We do obviously know from previous, as the audience, that Kowalski has a gold inside of him and we don't know whether he knows or not, so it's all, so it's all that bit of intensity that builds up as well. And he's showing signs by having these headaches and everything, so that's what's like gives it away for us as the audience. And I suppose when it came out at the time, he was probably shouting at the screen. But yeah, that's what that that shows, and I thought it was quite important because obviously that's what this episode is mainly focused on. I also showed the next two scenes as because it was Tilk being well. It, they say it was like an interview but it's more like an interrogation and they're basically trying to get information out of him about the gold and Tilk gives it to him and he tells him basically who they are and what they are and basically that they don't, they don't give a damn they'll they'll kill anyone that gets in the way or files the plans so I thought that was quite interesting to put him so let's go on to the next scene <laughs> 